Hello and welcome to Good to Know. I'm your host, Drew Cuntley. With finals week coming up, we thought it would be good to show y'all where to get the supplies necessary for your exams. Here we are at Sam's Express in the basement of the Media and Communications Building where you can buy orange scantrons and blue books. You can buy the orange scantrons for 20 cents and blue books for 75 cents. Here at Barnes & Noble in the sub, you could also buy your maroon, orange or red scantron for 25 cents each depending on what your teacher tells you and a blue book for 92 cents and here at these vending machines in holden hall you could also get four orange scantrons for a dollar now that i've shown y'all where to get the supplies for your exams i went around asking students how they study for their tests and asked them if they had any tips for other students that maybe y'all can use during y'all's exams this week uh, don't panic keep calm just study if listen to your teachers and tell them they'll tell you what exactly to study for and just go through it calmly and just be patient with it and just study hard um i would say use quizlet because you know you can print them off you can make it into a glossary you can make them into note cards it's online it automatically makes them into tests for you and that kind of thing too uh, when i study for my exams or my finals i like to actually uh, take my notes and instead of making like flashcards like I used to do in high school because there is so much information I start at the top and cover the answers underneath it with another sheet of paper and work my way through my notes. To well it depends on the test but usually I have to write things out mm -hmm. and I just write them over and over and say them out loud. And don't give up right at the end because even the little bit of effort can mean the difference between one letter grade and the next one. You have no idea what that might look like. And basically the only thing that most teachers and most professors do, they teach through the book. So going through the book and understanding the book more to understand what he's saying is kind of my take on studying. And it's been working so far. I will say that it's been working so far. Um, I think it's important to remember to balance, you know, uh, studying with like going to the gym um, and taking, you know, little mind breaks and sleeping is important because <laughs> we were in psychology and apparently all-nighters don't pay off, so. To study hard. <laughs> I just like buckle down and hope for the best. <laughs> I really just, um, I do it in advance for the most part. I try to do it like three days before if I have time depending on how the days work. For my exams, typically, there's all variations, everybody works a little bit different, but I usually don't study any more than a week in advance because I'll end up forgetting some of the material, so typically what I do is two to three days before the exam, I'll really sit down and start going over it. Well, I would say don't procrastinate, read or study a little every day, that way you're not trying to cram study, it doesn't feel like such a big load. <laughs> um, study. study, read your books and all that good stuff. Don't procrastinate and go to the library and don't be with your friends while you're taking online tests. Do it as early as you can. It just makes it easier, less cramming. I mean, you're going to end up cramming regardless, I feel like. So, I mean, you might as well get as much in as you can. And I would say no matter what, if you go over anything, whether you read it or go through and work the problems three times, then after the third time, typically you're pretty familiar with it and you should do pretty well in the exam. So in review, be sure to buy your Scantrons and your Blue Books on campus, don't procrastinate, take frequent breaks when studying, and get lots of sleep. Hopefully this information was good to know. Good luck on your finals.